I'll begin with the uh, questions. It'll be a five-minute round uh, by members of the committee, and I'm going to begin with you, uh, Mr. Penny. Uh, you were the CEO of USA Gymnastics from April 5, 2005, until your resignation on March the 16th, 2017. Is that correct? Yes. Um, former gymnastics doctor Larry Nasser was convicted of criminal sexual conduct with gymnasts including members of the USA national team. My understanding is that you were first informed about this abuse on June 17, 2015. Is that correct? Uh, Mr. Chairman, um, with respect to you and, and your question and the committee, uh, I have been instructed by my attorney to assert my rights under the Fifth Amendment to the Constitution, which according to the United States Supreme Court in Ohio versus Reiner, protects innocent men who otherwise might be ensnared by ambiguous circumstances where truthful responses of an innocent witness may provide the government with evidence from the speaker's own mouth with which, would, with which it would somehow use against him. For that reason, and based upon the advice of my attorney, I must respectfully decline to answer your question. Uh, let me ask you this. Uh, after being informed about the abuse, uh, you arranged for a private investigation. Um, how did that private investigation come about? And then my understanding is that uh, you waited 41 days to contact law enforcement. Is that correct? Again, Mr. Chairman, respectfully, I would like to answer your question. However, I've been instructed by my attorney to assert my rights under the Fifth Amendment to the Constitution and based upon the advice of my attorney, I respectfully decline to answer your question. Did you, Mr. Penny, on July the 29th, after Larry Nasser was relieved of his duties, ever contact Michigan State University or other employers of Larry Nasser to inform them of the allegations of abuse? Again, Mr. Chairman, I would like to answer your question, how I've been instructed by my attorney to assert my rights under the Fifth Amendment to the Constitution. And based upon the advice of my attorney, I respectfully decline to answer your question. Uh, let me turn to the ranking member, Senator Blumenthal, questions. Thanks, Mr. Chairman. Uh, Mr. Penny, I respect your right to invoke your Fifth Amendment privilege. You have that right but you also have a responsibility. You were part of an organization that in effect prioritized medals and money over the young women and girls, some of them here today, who were sexually abused by Mr. Nasser. And in fact, in the absence of your testimony, documents will speak for you. We have documents that indicated that as early as 2013, you had questions about Larry Nasser. In fact, in one of those memos that you wrote to Alan Ashley of the United States Olympic Committee, you said, quote, if Larry Nasser is the gatekeeper, then we have a real issue, end quote. What was the reason that you said that at that point? Senator, um, thank you for your question. I would like to answer it. However, I've been instructed by my attorney to assert my rights under the Fifth Amendment to the Constitution. And based upon the advice of my attorney, I respectfully decline to answer your question. Mr. Penny, uh, another of those documents dated uh, July 9th of 2014 from Ron Gallimore to Larry Nasser refers to a, quote, code of silence and indicates that you knew about it. Would you explain to this committee what part you had in either beginning or enforcing a code of silence that prevented young athletes from coming forward and complaining about abuse with fear of retaliation. Senator, once again, I would like to answer your question. 
However, I've been instructed by my attorney to assert my rights under the Fifth Amendment to the Constitution, which according to the United States Supreme Court in Ohio versus Reiner, protects innocent men who otherwise might be ensnared by ambiguous circumstances where truthful responses of an innocent witness may provide the government with evidence from the speaker's own mouth, which it would somehow use against him. For that reason, and based upon the advice of my attorney, I must respectfully decline to answer your question. I have one final question for you. You were part of an organization, the United States Gymnastics, that in effect gave Larry Nasser that badge of trust that he violated and a trust that USA Gymnastics violated. Don't you feel you have a responsibility to the athletes who are here today and to others around the country, more than 260 of them, to be more forthcoming? Respectfully, Senator, I would like to answer your question. However, I've been instructed by my attorney to assert my rights under the Fifth Amendment to the Constitution, and based upon the advice of my attorney, I respectfully decline to answer your question. Thanks, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Penny, may I assume that it is your intent to in invoke that privilege uh, in further questioning? Yes. Let the record reflect that you have availed yourself of the privileges afforded under the Fifth Amendment to the United States Constitution not to give testimony that might incriminate you. The invocation of that right should not and does not imply guilt. The committee respects your constitutional rights to decline to answer questions on that ground although we certainly would have liked to have been able to hear from you today. Mr. Penny, you're excused.